and action. We're here in Beira on our second working day. The volunteers are all very busy. You can see half of them are here in the carpentry workshop making some desks and benches for the classrooms out at Dondo. The rest are busy down in the chicken coop building the extension. So they've all settled in well and they're very enthusiastic and they're looking forward to much more work at Dondo next week. Why don't you talk us through it there, Katie? Um, basically, that's the top bunk. Uh, that's that's going to be the bottom bunk. <laughs> We're just making the benches and the tables. For what? Yeah, for the school building. Hammering and gluing all day long, working very hard. Sean takes pictures. <laughs> okay, so we're here behind the girls' youth hostel. The girls stay here for two years. Here is their chicken coop, and here is going to be their new chicken coop. Michal, Michal, explain here what you're doing. I'm here block laying a chicken coop. Yeah. It's going to be something similar to that one just over there. Except better. Except better. <laughs> bigger and better. Because me holds doing it. <laughs> We're here at the IT classroom. We were here last week and we noticed a lot of the viewers are running slowly and there are a lot of viruses on them. So today we want to reformat the hard drives, reinstall the operating systems and install the virus. As Young Africa, we really feel that technical vocational education and training is the key to young people, giving young people the tools to develop themselves uh, to be useful citizens in a society. And uh, simply because it will teach them a skill and teach them how to make money with that skill. And uh, we, we really feel that that is what makes a difference in the life of a young person, to do something productive, to contribute to society, to be able to maintain himself, herself. If you want young people to stay alive and not to die, then give them the tools to live. And that is exactly what uh, vocational training does. Um, fortunately here in Mozambique it's, uh, it's going wonderfully well. We 
evaluated last year that 83% of our graduates are economically active, making money. So there are challenges, uh, many of them, but you know, some of them can be overcome. Eu quero tchu, eu quero tchá, eu quero tchu, tchá, 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 tchá. Hello and welcome to the Bear Club 2012. We have competing teams from all across Mozambique. <laughs> Taking a bunch of the country here. <laughs> Good luck to all competing teams. Tchu, tchá, tchá. Na balada doidinho pra piritar A galera tá no clima, todo mundo quer dançar Uma mina me chamou, disse faz o tchu tchá, tchá Perguntei o que é isso, ela disse eu vou te ensinar É uma dança sensual, em Goiânia não pegou Em Minas explodiu, Tocantins já bombou No Nordeste as minas faz, no verão vai pegar Então faz o tchu tchá, tchá o Brasil inteiro vai cantar Marcelo, eu quero tchu, eu quero tchá, eu quero tchu, tchá, tchá, tchu, tchá, 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 eu quero tchu, eu quero tchá, eu quero tchu, tchá, tchá. We've been working with Young Africa out in Dondo on the agricultural project where it's teaching young Mozambicans how to grow, manufacture and distribute products. So it takes them the whole way through the agricultural process. We've mainly been working on the serve block, which is a block of classrooms. We've been painting them, sanding the windows, varnishing them. But a group of us have also been working on marking out the perimeter, putting down fencing poles. Right, can't talk for long. Let's so head into town and get some cement. Ciao. The idea is we want to give this agricultural training to more than to more people than just this immediate neighborhood. So if we have 128 places for resident students, we can train them from all over the country. So our courses will be like six months to one year duration. Very hands-on, very practical. So people should be able to, our uh, people should be able to go home, start using the technology immediately in land. Hi Mia, can you show us around the serve block here? Look around, we painted the blackboard, we painted the flat, all the walls, uh, we sanded, sanded and varnished all the windows. Um, if you follow me, I'll show you more of the classroom. People are a great leader in it, hard at work. <laughs> Sit on the floor. <laughs> 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 and our two most artistic volunteers, Rachel and Katie, hard at work on our mural. Well, this is the classroom block that's Sarah funded. So we did a bit of a mural on the wall. We have a little kind of a design oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we're using handprints instead of footprints. Put your little heat up in your hand. Give a very short song. Mia Joyce, camera one, quiet on set, lights, camera, action. This is an example of some of the work we've done. We painted these poles, we dug these holes, we mixed the cement and poured the cement in, and this was all done by hand. <laughs>
and we're not finished yet. Ha, ha, ha.